Hello folks, is you here? I am making a video right after last night I made a video. I made uh, quite a bit of changes to the pipe. It's kind of easy to see. You see that? It kind of looks very odd. I gotta get the bottom, sand it a little bit more to change the shape. Uh, I thought it might be interesting to see after saying claw. I thought I'll do a little claw look. And I'm making a video today for something that I got recently for Father's Day, which is kind of cool. Um, I'll show you. I gotta flip the camera. That's what I got. That's uh, probably see Lodge. It's a Sportsman's Hibachi Grill, and it's a Weber uh, grill and chimney. Uh, I have to actually get the charcoals out now. I think it's definitely saving me time. Guess where I got this in Australia. That's a lot of charcoal and a lot of ashes flying around. All right, I gotta flip this camera around again. I just walked inside, and my wife says the same thing. That's a lot of charcoal. Sorry, I'm holding the camera right now by hand. So I got a cast iron grill. The reason is I like cast iron. Oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it off. As soon as I get this a little set it up, I will show again. So this Hibachi grill actually has a ventilation hole down here. And this is the door. And then the draft door, it's all made of cast iron. So it's kind of nice. Um, I have this grill actually that needs to go on top for now. It's not the best thing to do with my, you know what, I might be able to do this. So yeah, there you have it. There's a nice space to it. Um, it's not too big. I can't give you, I'll probably link where I got it. Um, my side in the store is for like $120. But I went on Amazon and it was like less than 80 bucks. So I got it for my Father's Day gift for me. And this is the Weber chimney. Um, the best way to start this is put charcoal in here. And a light, um, like a cardboard or like a toilet paper core. With the vegetable oil in it, sit it in the bottom down here. And then set it on fire, and then it'll just reach creep nice and slow, and you'll speed up the charcoal process time. If you don't have it, definitely I recommend it. This grill, I'm actually, it's it comes seasoned, so it's non-stick to begin with. But I decided I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it to begin with to let it cure a little bit more or season a little bit more before I get started on it. But yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, I'm getting kind of sweaty. It's uh, it's like humidity is like 90 odd percent out here in Nashville. I'm gonna try to make um, work on my pipe a little bit more tonight, and hopefully I'll have something to show next time. Have a good one and have a great week.